Season 1, Episode 13, The Americans. Um, this is their season finale. The last episode in this, uh, in the first season. Overall, I have to say, this series has been... I, I, I don't know, I can't say that, but... I was gonna say it's been eventful, but not eventful. But that doesn't make any sense. Because it's... It has enough action to keep me, uh... Entertained and to keep me wanting to... Uh, uh, watching keep me watching and keep me entertained um but it has a, a much calmer tone about it i don't think the main characters have even uh yelled that often but there's always so much tension behind what they're doing i think that's uh, uh i think that adds to i think that's um i think that uh i think that's a I think it's a compliment to how good of actors, uh, the um, how good of an actor uh, the guy who plays Philip is, and how good of an actress the woman who plays Elizabeth is. These are the two main characters, and of course, I have no doubts about how good Stan is because he was uh, when we were initially uh, introduced to him in the beginning of the, the series. He's like to me, he seemed to be a really uh, cool. A company man and them that I'm pretty sure that people can understand that he's like seems to be a pretty cool company man and then he turns into this cold um cold and very thoughtful cold and thoughtful killer uh but I'm trying to get back to this episode so they have one last I mean, they're, they're tasked with this mission right now to uh, retrieve a tape in order to gather information about whatever right because this it's getting juicy they're on to them they know that they're they know that they've uh, uh tapped this clock by now so they're feeding them uh information that's pretty much too good to be true and that's the, that's the actual trap but all the while they've been um giving us a meeting with an with a um with the high-ranking military uh person uh in regards to this missile defense system. So they think that's a trap because that seems too good to be true. But in actuality, it it wasn't a trap. Just some guy seems like he was tired of hiding a secret or something. And once they get to the meeting, that's what it seems like. To me, it seems like he was just tired of hiding a secret and he wants to get it over with or something like that. He was just basically, basically burnt out, it seemed like. <clears throat> of course he's going to give away these secrets and he's like it's not going to amount to anything and whatever whatever um but you know I guess the, the majority of the attention comes from the fact that uh Elizabeth and Philip are still separated um and they keep flip flopping responsibilities trying to take the one mission that's uh seems to be seems to have the greater risk Philip's like, no, I'm going to take it. Elizabeth's like, no, it's my mission. I'm going to take it. And Philip's like, he, uh, he out, well, he doesn't sound smart. He just wakes up. He just leaves earlier than, than, than she does. So she's like, dang, he took my job. And so she continues on doing his job, which turns out to be the actual trap. And, uh, I'm skipping a lot, I know, but they almost get caught. And their neighbor, Stan, of course, is waiting there because he's, you know, damn near, damn near running this dang mission against these, uh, they know they have a, a couple that's two spies. He's damn near running the mission to catch these two. And he winds up shooting at them. I think it was only three shots and hits Elizabeth in her abdomen. Almost takes her out. Um, I wonder how they're going to get, I wonder how they're going to get past that. I mean, they, Oh God! And another, on top of that, he's the one that shot Elizabeth, and Phillips. Philip calls Stan, saying, "Hey, we have a great aunt that just fell ill, and we're gonna stay up here and watch her. Could you watch our kids?" Unbelievable. I mean, it gets unbelievable that, that it's unbelievable that something like this would even happen. I don't think this is actually a real story, but it's it's unbelievable viewing. I could I could say that much. 
I don't know. I'm trying, trying, trying to think. What did I skip? This is uh, season one, episode thirteen. What did I skip though? What did I skip out on? Oh, their handler. Uh, they basically um, the two main characters basically complain about her service or her work and get her transferred off or get her taken away from them. And she does her best to actually look out for them, even though they don't like her. Um, but she she does a little she does something a little cold. She finds the guy that she tried to put Elizabeth on to take out, but Elizabeth wound up not doing it. So she goes in there, you know, does the old lady routine, which works. Um, shocks him to incapacitate him. And then I, I, I'm guessing she injected him with like a, a anesthesia of some type and paralyzed the guy. And she's like, yeah, you're going to be able to move for 20 minutes. And then she cuts his carotid artery. I believe that's the carotid artery, but she cuts an artery right in his neck. So you won't be able to move for, for 20 minutes. But that's 10 more than you, 10 more than you need because you only got 10 minutes to live. I'm going to pump all your blood out. I'm like, oh. She's cold. She's just going to tell her whole history, of course, because, you know, this guy's going to die. Yeah, you know, me and him were together in the war, which, man. Thinking about that that time in the world is just it's absolutely insane. You know, men and women are fighting side by side. The Soviet Union really didn't discriminate in that, in that way I mean I think I've said this before you know they had female fighter pilots and female snipers and all sorts of stuff um, so it's a possibility that she could have been up there fighting with him uh, even as a, a nurse or intelligent something she could have been fighting up there with him and I don't know I just I just get lost in that and those, those thoughts sometimes that, that doesn't make any sense. I just like history, and it's interesting that they were bringing it up. Of course, they have to bring it up to create a better backstory for these characters. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of early in the morning. I should be asleep right now. <laughs> while I'm making this video. Um, let's see what else did I leave out? Oh, with the daughter, the daughter of uh, the two main characters, Elizabeth and uh, Philip. She's getting a little nosy there. She's trying to figure out what's going on. I mean, I'm surprised it took her that long to uh, snoop around. <clears throat> I'd be interested to see where that plays, how that plays out, where that goes. Of course, I gotta wait till the next season, which you know, I can watch it any time. I feel like, but I don't watch it. Uh, I watch it. I watch it. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep right now. I'm trying to figure out what else I've forgot so I forgot what else I forgot about this episode um yeah I guess I guess I I guess that's it I mean I made a pretty exciting episode and seemed not that ex seemed not that exciting but you know it's just the state I'm in right now a little tired but yeah if you like me talking about uh, other shows, go check out some of my videos. You know, the full series of Breaking Bad and mini series in Chernobyl. There's a few movies sprinkled in there as well. Check those out and subscribe. It's really easy. You just boop. That's all you gotta do when you subscribe.